Babe of the day. Babe of the day. Melody Patterson. She was one of many young starlets to come out of the 1960s. She became a bigger name than many of them do. The surprising thing about this is that she really didn't do a whole lot in acting outside of one TV series that only lasted two years. Melody Patterson was, of course, Wrangler Jane on the Western comedy show F Troop. It ran for two seasons from 1965 to 67 for 65 episodes. Although the show was canceled prematurely, it was quite popular in reruns and is still well known today. It helped make bigger names out of most of the cast, even those who had already been around for years. Melody did a few small parts before the series and a handful of roles after the series until 1974. After a long hiatus, she did one small role in a film from 1989 called The Immortalizer. Wrangler Jean is how she is remembered best, though. She was a big part of the show and good in the role. The character's full name is Wrangler Jane Angelica Thrift, but you rarely hear her called anything but Wrangler Jane. How she got the role was a total fluke. She auditioned for the role just for the fun of it and in hopes of getting some work. To her surprise, they had her read lines from Doris Day's Calamity Jane movie. It just happened to be Melody's favorite movie, and she had seen it so many times that she knew every scene and every line. Melody nailed the audition, and she knew it. The problem came when they asked her age. You're 18, right? Oh, yes, I'm 18, she answered. You can ride a horse, right? Oh, yes, I can ride a horse. Melody really didn't know how far it would go, but she thought if she got a screen test after this, at least she would have some film for a demo reel. It wasn't until after she secured the role that she told the producers her real age. They were absolutely shocked, but they were in a spot. They really couldn't hold off and start auditions again. Plus, Melody was who they really wanted to play this character. She was also very mature and professional, so she was kept on. Since she did not turn 18 until after the show ended, the romance between her and Wilton, played by Ken Berry, was purposely toned down. If there would have been heavy kissing or anything more intimate shown on screen, the show would have gotten a lot of heat. It was funny, anyway, to see Captain Parmenter as the nervous lover. A lot of people never catch this, but many times when Wrangler Jane makes her first appearance in an episode, they play the music for Buttons and Bows, a western novelty song originally performed by Dinah Shore. I was friends with an actress, a real good actress, who had auditioned for Wrangler Jane before Melody Patterson. By her own admission, she totally bombed the audition. She couldn't keep a straight face. It was one of the few auditions this lady ever did where she didn't dazzle. Well, she had only herself to blame, but she was always incredibly bitter about Melody getting the part. I never thought it was right for her to feel that way, but that was how it went. To be truthful, I think the producers got the right person when they cast Melody. They wanted someone to resemble Doris Day's version of Calamity Jane in looks and in spirit, and I think they did well. Melody did a few films after F Troop ended, but these weren't really top-notch productions. She had a part in The Angry Breed from 1968 with her future husband James MacArthur. James will later become Dano on the hit TV show Hawaii Five-0. Remember this famous line? Book him, Dano! Melody and James married in 1970. After Angry Breed, she was the female lead in The Psycho Savages with Bruce Dern in 1969. Then she was the star of the horror film Blood and Lace in 1971. All these movies she had done were exploitation films and far from the wholesome image she enjoyed on F Troop and other TV roles. She moved to Hawaii with her husband and appeared on three episodes of Hawaii Five-0 playing different characters. For the most part, Melody put her career aside during their marriage. She did modeling, appeared in commercials, and worked in small theater productions, but she didn't actively pursue a big career. 
They ended up divorced in 1975. She was married two more times after that. Melody didn't have any children. Melody Patterson was a bright spot in a funny show that I've always enjoyed and will continue to rewatch for the rest of my life. She didn't do as much in acting as she could have, but what she did do mattered. Anyone who can leave that much of an impression is a certifiable Babe of the Day! Babe of the Day! <laughs>